Okay, We Are Young by Fun is pretty easy to learn. I'm going to call it an intermediate, sort of on the easy side, um, an intermediate lesson. Uh, there are basically, well, like four parts with a couple of catches. Uh, you're really going to have to listen to the original after you learn the parts. Anyway, uh, what you need to play at first sounds like this. It's sort of this drum uh, part. And then the lead singer comes in with... Uh, Give me a second, I need to get my story straight. My friends are getting higher, uh, my friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State. Something like that. Anyway, I'll play that part for you. Alright, cool. So that little loop, we're going to call that loop one. I normally go like chorus or whatever. I'm just going to call this loop one. The only thing I'm going to name, the only loop I'm going to name is the bridge, but you'll see what I mean when I get there. So loop one is just an, an F major, so F, C, and F in your left hand, A, C, and F in your right hand. And as always, if you can't reach um, notes with your hands because they're too small, just take some notes out until your hands can reach. Alright, that's just the rule of thumb. It'll still sound good, alright? So that first chord is an F. And then you're going to move to a D minor, but the way you're going to do it, so your hands are like this, right? Your, your two finger on this C here, in your right hand, is just going to switch up to a D with your three finger. Okay? So you see that? So everything else stays where it is. So your left hand is here, and your left hand is then going to switch to a D, A, and D. And your right hand just stays on that A, and then you're going to play a D and an F. You're already on that F. Okay, so there's your D minor. So the first two chords are F. Give me a second, I need to get my story straight. My friends are, friends is D minor, friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna slide to, um, I'm gonna write this the way I hear it. Um, there may be subtle, subtle variations and um, like bass notes that the chord is over, but I'm gonna give you like an easy, clean version and you can change it if you want, okay? So, the third chord that I'm going to have you play is just a G minor. This is the part where you, you might change up. Sometimes I play a G, uh, G minor 7 with this F with my thumb. But we'll keep it simple, alright? So G's in your left hand, G, B flat, D, and F in your right hand. I guess that's the 7. We can do it like, we can, uh, yeah, let's, I'll tell you the 7 version. So G minor 7, G, B flat, D, and F, okay, over G's. The fourth chord you need to know is just a B flat, so you're gonna move your left hands up to B flat, and your right hand is just gonna take that G out of the chord you were playing. So B flat, D, and F. And sort of resolve to the C. C's in your left hand, G, C, and E in your right hand. So the first time you play that, you're gonna play through it through that exact loop twice. F. Four, five, six, seven, eight, D minor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G minor. Seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, B flat for a count of two, uh, four, and then C for a count of four. So those last two chords, the B flat and the C, are like half as long as the other chords. B, B flat two, three, four, C two, three, four. You repeat again. All right, and then so that's the first chunk, that part one. And the first time you play it, you repeat it twice. The second time you play it, you repeat it just once, all right? So, then you're gonna jump to the second part, which goes like this. So if, by the, so if by the time the bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight. And into the uh, chorus, or, or into, the, uh, into the next part, all right? So, so if by the time, so if by the time the bar closes, the first two chords there are G minor, so G, D, and G in your left hand, B flat, and D in your right hand. So if by the time the bar closes, I'm not sure if I'm singing exactly right, but A minor is the next chord, A minor, E, and A in your left hand, and it just, it's just a C and an E in your right hand. Closes, and you feel like falling down. Feel like falling down is a D minor. I'm just playing one with my left hand, so a D with your left hand, an A, a D, and an F in your right hand. Feel like falling. Falling is a C, so C with your left hand. G, C, and E with your right hand. Falling down. You're gonna get to a B flat for that little 
like last part of that three card chord progression. That's a B flat in your left hand, F, B flat, D, F in your right hand. If you can reach both of those Fs. Then you're going to have this, I'll carry you home tonight. So I'll carry you home, that's a B flat, so you're already playing that chord, you just basically play it again. I'll carry you home. Home is a C, so C in your left hand. G, C, and E in your right hand. Tonight. So it goes into the next part. So basically just B flat to C is the end of that part. Okay, but you're gonna be going into an F to follow things up. So right after you play that second part, you're gonna jump in. That second part, by the way, is also the, um, the very ending. Uh, okay, carry you home tonight. The only difference is in the ending sequence, you actually do play an F chord to end everything. And you play very low. So I'll teach you the end sequence now, which is just, you play that uh, part two, that G minor. So if by the time the bar closes, A minor, and you feel like D minor, falling C down, B flat. I'll carry you home, that's a C right there. And then tonight. So it ends on F, so really low F, so we'll get that nice sort of finishing sound. Um, and in your right hand, A, C, and F. So that's your part two and your ending. All right, so part three is tonight. We are young. Gonna set the world on fire. We can burn brighter than the sun. And so on from there. All right, so that part is very similar to to part one, you'll probably notice. It's just like the beginning, it's an F. The only difference is you're sort of playing these block chords, like bouncing, okay? So you start with an F, that's F, C, and F in your left hand. A, C, F in your right hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then to your D minor, so you'll recall, you're playing Ds in your left hand. A, D, and F in your right hand. G minor 7, so G's in your left hand, G, B flat, D, and F in your right hand. Now here's where it gets a little bit different than part 1. Part 3 is, is the next two chords are an F over a C and then a C. Okay? So the F over C, you're, that just, whenever something is over something, it just means your left hand, your bass hand plays that thing that it's over. So F over C, you play C's in your left hand. So C's in your left hand. A, C, and F in your right hand for the first part. That this is, this is going to constitute your F chord. And then you're going to move to C. So one easy way to do this is to just keep your middle, your two finger, which is playing a C where it is, and shift your outsides of that chord down one white note. So your right hand is playing G, C, and E. Okay, cool, so that's part three. The only other part you need to know is the bridge, and the bridge sounds like this. Carry me home tonight. I'm not sure if I'm singing it right. Carry me home tonight. That four chord loop, you're just gonna play, I believe it's about four times. I'm pretty sure it's four times, you might wanna double check. But carry me, that part is just an F. So F's in your left hand, F, a, C, another F if you can reach it in your right hand. Carry me home tonight. On night, you're gonna switch to B flat. B flat's in your left hand. F, B flat, D, another F if you can reach it in your right hand. Carry me home. You repeat it again and you're playing an F chord just like the first time except over an A. So A in your left hand, F, A, C, another F if you can reach it right hand carry me home tonight and you're gonna switch to just a C major good old C major C's in your left hand G C E in your right hand and that's the bridge all right 
So that's the whole, those are all the pieces. Listen to the original and figure out exactly what order it is. Remember that sometimes you're gonna play through the loop t twice, sometimes you play through it once. You gotta pay attention to exactly how many times you play it through. But if you take your time to learn those pieces and listen to the original and you're a little bit patient, you can definitely get it, all right? So I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.